It's long. It's long. I'm still at um, Burger King. It's long. Yes, I'm using my tablet and my cell phone. And yeah, I am. Um, I got off work maybe 15 minutes ago. It's, it's about 10 till um, 4. Yep, May the 29th, 2018. This is going to be a short video. Um, I just got through reading um, some of um, Dwayne Byfield Bay's um, tweets. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. They're, um, they're positive. Well, what I want to talk about um, today is, um, well, today what I want to talk about right now is um, the um, story of Iris, the chronicles of Iris, the last few souls of planet Earth. Well, one of the things I was going to add to the story is because uh, she's working, Iris is working at a warehouse. So it's May the 29th, 2018. And so, once again, I wish I stated this in the story before. While she's at the warehouse, so she's probably been there approximately, um, maybe, uh, approximately five years. So while she's there, um, she's among those, I, I think I gave you um, approximately five different, um, I gave you five different um, ethnicities. So you have the Negro um, Black, okay? Now, the Negro Black is um, a, a different species, okay? It's not um, like, for instance, in real life, you have that which is considering themselves um, Black or African American, um, I should say, in real life. But they're under that status, that constitutional status um, of that, um, of being constitution, according to the constitutional law, they're under that status in real life but in this story of the chronicles of iris the negro black is um a, a, a totally different species of um a totally different creature um of some sort and um it's not just them i think it, uh, it was the pale skin um of, in the chronicles of iris um then you have that which is asian and then um that which is from the what they from China, Japan, or now so you have that which is um, from the Middle East, India. But the um, in the Chronicles of Iris, the Negro Black is probably the most, um, and that and also those that speak Spanish, whether they from Mexico or El Salvador. So what the thing is, she's among they all have spirits. Iris um, realized they all have spirits. So they, for them, by them having spirits. So first, that's the first thing she um, um, she has to accept. So you have the unclean and the um, clean spirits. So um, what she what she is among is um, very unclean. And what they strive to do is to amalgamate or force amalgamate any means necessary. Because they are, uh, so they they deal with um, ritualistic um, attacks of her genitals, and I say that um, slow, um, low because I'm still at Burger King. Yeah, I'm still at Burger King. So um, yeah, so what they do is um, to um, promote um, their rule, okay, in this story of ours. Um, because they're not in a constitutional code, um, the, those that I spoke of in the Chronicles of Arts. So what they, um, to make themselves not seem like um, terrorists or unclean or demonic, they try to put a rule on their nature. Now remember, they are, we, Iris is among unclean demonic spirits. So they are trying to actually normalize what is very unclean and demonic. So, um, for instance, I'll give you an example. Um, um, so the Negro black female is in the male, seems to um, 
be the most aggressive and that which speaks Spanish. And so they, once again, and this is dealing with her birthright because when it comes down to it, it's all about her being a soul. That's why it's the last few souls of planet Earth and she and other souls reclaiming their inheritance and birthright. These, these um, spirits, they have no soul or those that have a soul sold their soul, okay? So in order for um, what to try to implement this rule, they will attack Iris's genitals while she's working. Okay, a lot of times Iris thinks of Revelations chapter twelve verse eleven in reference to her testimonies. It's similar to me, yeah. I, sometimes when I do my testimonies, but she does this. I put this in the story as well. And um, so, um, so if um, the, the black female, um, Negro female, is not able to um, present herself to her as a form of a teacher or a um, friend, she will encourage her black male or female in the story of Iris to attack her genitals in a sexual manner. And that goes with the saying that is Spanish or, or um, Mexican. Um, while she's working at the warehouse um, so they, this is how they look when they attack um, usually they'll just sit there and look and after they attack the genitals in a spiritual way where um, she's feeling um, a sexual feeling almost they call it taking cookies all right that's what they call it taking cookies it's like the men they start breathing real hard or they looking like they because they they feeling they they getting off from this in the public and, uh, so the black Negro male is like, I mean, it's like, okay, okay, she's not, this is, remember you're dealing with a, a creature, a, a different species of some sort, and this is the female too. So they are, so she's working in a warehouse and she's in the public. So these things or um, spirits, if they are not able to engage on a spiritual, or, or, mentally, physically, they just start attacking the genitals and they get so hyped and excited like I mean like they're um, possessed by doing it now remember Iris is a soul and she's among unclean unclean spirits um, it's you know when she first realized that this was going on she didn't really know what was happening I think she had been working at the warehouse for approximately six to seven months and she noticed that the females around her would do things like, um, I'm showing this on a video, like take their hand. Can you hear me? Hold on one second. Okay, I just showed on the video at, um, yeah, I mean, Monty Gray, my son, hyphen Bay, will be wa watching the video too. Yeah. And Monty Gray, hyphen Bay, will be watching the video as well. And so she, they were, um, she was working with um, a manager, and it was a female manager, and the, um, and she was um, uh, one of the black um, Negro species. Um, so um, she started to, um, she was working late because um, they needed someone to stay late. And she didn't think nothing of it because she's new to the um, area um, where she was. So she was just happy to be working and earning money while she correct her status. Because in her, yep, I'm using the same thing as correcting status as me. Um, the female would rub her hand slowly against the table. And uh, as she was doing it, and this is among, this is, um, as she was doing it, there was a um, black Negro male close to her, and he started attacking the genitals in a sexual manner. And so, the now this female, um, Negro female, the species, she's um, doing it with the, the black Negro male, okay, Islam. So this is the, um, this in the Chronicles of Iris, this is um, the nature of this beast. And or um, she um, noticed also, like um, when she, um, for instance, um, like if she um, working around um, many males, and it could be pale skin as well, because the pale skin is also included in this. What the pale skin tries to do is 
in the male, if especially after the Negro black female is not able to engage, um, Iris is um, standing strong and not engaging with them. So then they'll they start to work together because remember the pale skin um, is benefiting from um, souls not especially those who, those pale skins who do not have a soul. Now not all not all that look to be um, light is pale skin. But there are th definitely those who um, benefit from this. And also they um, want the force amalgamation as well. Because they don't, they're something else as well. I mean, they're not, they have no soul. They're something else. So what they would do is um, after, um, um, they would do these demonic games of protection. Okay? Once again, um, in the Chronicles of Iris, they're trying to implement a rule, okay, to cover up the nature of what they are and what they have been doing, okay, whether it's um, mentally, and they are telepathic, so she is among a telepathic society, so whether it's attacking the mind mentally, because they've been doing that for generation to generation, being, they've been used to do such things, or whether it is attacking souls while they sleep at night. Or why they out in the open and they don't know about it. So an, an, another demonic game that she realized Iris is re, Iris realized they do is, and this is called a demonic um, game of protection. Okay, because you might uh, she she hears a lot of them keep saying, uh, especially the Negro black female in the story of Iris. I got it. I got it. Like they possess. They they really act like they possess. They keep screaming that they got it around her. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you remember that. I, I remember it too. I remember. Um, I remember. Um, because I was preparing this story. Yep, I wrote that. So, um, like they're possessed because she's dealing with a, a different species, uh, unclean spirit. So, um, so, um, what would happen when she would be working late or working around some of the males? is they would start um, one of them they could be an authoritative position they could be a manager assistant manager or just a co-worker will attack her genitals while she's working in the public and then all of a sudden one of the females because um, she's working mostly among um, the black negro species and the uh, spanish which speaks spanish will come around to try and look at the um, negro male like like this and saying um, or, you know, just sort of give him a hint to stop. So, but remember, they're both, they're telepathic, so they're playing a game. Yeah, they're playing a game. So, they're playing a game, a demonic game. And remember, um, this is, um, they, and they too are getting off from doing this. All right? They're getting off in the public from doing this in a demonic, ritualistic manner. So, and so they would do this and to try to implement a rule to try to implement a rule to cover up their nature of being unclean and filthy in spirit. Um, so, um, and another um, thing I'm adding to the Chronicles of Iris and um, the, the last few souls of planet Earth is um, she noticed um, when, um, like for instance, when she's taking an order, okay, uh, or not when she's taking an order, excuse me. I had, um, I just heard someone say, um, I, thought, I think they said um, F U C K U. Um, this is, I'm at Berkey and I think it, it threw me off because I'm in the public. So they probably on the phone or something. Um, I, yeah, I'm still at Burger King. I'm still at Burger King. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so another thing she noticed, because um, um, these unclean spirits are able to tell where when she starts to feel compassion. So when she's working on the line, the belt where the um, products go down the line, because um, this warehouse has many departments. It has um, a food department. It has a um, line department. A um, where um, different products go down the line. Um, it also has um, a clothing department. It, you sell plants. Many, many different um, departments. But when she's working in certain departments and she has to deal with um, customers, for instance, uh, if one comes in and she's just doing her job, 
okay remember she's working among and she's being a monk and she is among a telepathic society that is a cesspool of unclean soulless spirits and she might uh, just be trying to do her job and naturally she has compassion naturally she um, tries to think of a higher thought a good thoughts and do her job if she starts to feel compassion okay she starts to feel compassion they actually think that she's trying she's feeling compassion for one of them in a manner where they feel like they want that they have they should feel like they should have the right to engage with her mentally um, what she realized is um, they used um, the the science of telepathy yeah they, they they used the science of telepathy to um, engage forcefully and they call this talking to them all right so you might yeah so she might hear them say while she's working he's already talking to her or her children and so what they're trying to do is um implement a nature once again of a a um a form of um an act of terrorism spiritually but make it into a rule okay so she she have um iris doesn't know um is not involved with any male or um or chron in the chronicles of iris but they are uh, so what they do is um try their best any means necessary to force engage amalgamate enemy because this is an unclean demonic spirit whether it's invading dreams in the middle of the night um sitting around um standing close and start talking loud they'll do whatever they can because they're they're they they are yes they are a form like an incubus an incubus or succubus yeah that's exactly what exactly what they are so they don't have they cannot recycle the energy so because they can't recycle energy they're takers so um they are just a, a i guess an open sight plain out um predators predators of the earth yeah predators waiting to be used to cause harm so if she's um show compassion while she's working um they take this as a introduction to possibly engage or maybe she likes to be molested yeah they'll start yeah uh, in her in the chronicles of iris they start saying she likes it she likes it now we know uh, rational thinking in a divine manner a higher thought no no woman or male would want to be molested their genitals be molested in the open especially while they're trying to earn money it's like what kind of thought process would make a, a, a any anything that has a rational mind think that they would want their genitals to be molested while you are while they are trying to earn money yeah um, sometimes people um, they might yeah I did say that they say hey now the the demonic spirits that say that um, they um the reason why they say that is because they have no other it's like if okay if we cannot persuade her persuade the souls if we cannot influence the souls then we have to think of other reasons because you're dealing with un now remember when they take genitals they act like they add a breath okay because they get excited why they take while they're um attacking the genitals in the open it's like i mean literally they getting excited so it's like um i i like the movie um the 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 hills have eyes where you you saw the rejects you saw the, those uh rejects um waiting in the hills to uh kill and um um rape and um, do harmful things to travelers that's exactly how these demonic spirits act in the story of ours so they get excited uh, they're getting excited by seeing this these things done and so they whatever so the females you know they actually like i mean they 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 get excited to see their males do this to a soul because remember the females are of a different species all right they are the same species of the male so they like you know, yeah just they, they they truly don't they do not have they do not um have compassion 
because they've been taught for as as a child this is what you have to do to a soul all right especially when they start to when they know what you are when they know you're different all right so if uh, if they have to do this all right imagine and this is not and this so just and if they see that if as a child they because the, she's in the public and she's working at the warehouse there are children in the warehouse so the children are seeing this done um they're seeing the adults do it imagine yeah that's what that's the message in the chronicles of iris yep a cycle of dysfunction the new generation of planet earth it, um, yep um, yep cesspool of unclean spirits anyway um it's 20 minutes in this video Oh, another thing. Oh, oh, yeah. I meant to add that to the um, video. Um, at a lot of times they use emotion. Like you might, uh, uh, the um, Iris realized um, in her um, in her day to day, uh, especially with the Negro, um, black male and female in the Spanish, they keep saying um, they love her. Uh, they love her because see, what they try to do is tap into emotions. Okay. Because, see, they want to present themselves as some form of um, protector or, or teacher so they don't look to be or, rep or look to be an invader or a terrorist or a rapist or a molester or all the, uh, all the things that harm. So, the, so they have to switch it around. And if you don't know and you, the, and you, and you are opening your eyes slowly, you can easily fall in that trap. Now, getting back to the pale skin, and the pale skin, you now she noticed sometimes, like, um, I, this is this is very sick, but in this story, and um, that's, she is, this is what she's a mom, and this is um, also in correlations to some of the holy scriptures of um, the holy bible and the Quran. Uh, so the pale skin that has no soul, that is in cahoots with the Negro black and the Spanish, um, they will actually come and also try to uh, tag the genitals and they'll do their um, like some type of um, um, well in um, some type of um, like stand um, with representing some type of um, group like they're doing some type of symbol or whatever because they um, are these unclean spirits are all working together what they use excuses of why they're doing it but the nature is why they're doing it it is because they're unclean in spirit and they're demonic no other reason and they're and so and they're promoting bondage any means necessary of the mind spirit and soul so what they would do is um, come and attack her mentally and spiritually while the Negro black female or mainly the Negro black female of that species will sit back and sort of um, just like wait. It's like, okay, we can't, we're can't, not successful, but we'll, we'll let them do it and um, until, they, um, until she gets worn down or other souls get worn down and then we'll step in and... Um, just sort of uh, force her or other souls to be with us, um, to amalgamate with us. Yeah. Yeah. Planted to that, that, that plantation slave master. Yeah. On TV. Yeah. It, it, it is real that in that, in that story. Yeah. In that story it is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, anyway, it's um, 20 minutes in the video. I'll um, talk to you later, okay? It's May the 20th, 29th, 2018. It's long.